Hey, hey, hey guys, it's your pal Victor here from uh, Cult Following, Cult Classics, uh, GPK Artist Extraordinaire. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Victor Moreno. I am a freelance illustrator and I do a lot of fun projects. I've worked on stuff for Fright Rags, I've worked on Stranger Things, Walking Dead. And uh, what this video is, which you'll be able to see on my YouTube channel, Co Classics, and on Early View for people who join my Patreon, Patreon at patreon.com. Follow me on Patreon, slash Victor Moreno. Uh, these are all the sketch cards I did for the Garbage Pail Kids. 35th anniversary set which comes out uh in the uh, fall of uh 2020 probably september i don't know the exact date right off hand but um it's celebrating 35 years of garbage pill kids uh, garbage pill kids which came out originally in 1985 i remember when they came out it was all the rage you know like i remember being kindergarten and first grade and kids having garbage pail kids and me like me what are these and you know the only place you know was a liquor store and my parents would let me go to the liquor store to get them you know it was a whole thing and eventually by the time i got them it was garbage pail kid postcards but i had fond memories of mount rushmore with atom bomb and these big oversized garbage pail kid uh drawings and now i've I've lost count of how many Garbage Pail Kids sets I've done for Tops, but um, we had about a three and a half week window to do these. It was 103 cards. I hand drew every single one of them. Uh, they are all in color. Um, what this one here is, this is a return. Uh, some people pay me to get um, specific uh, designs done for themselves and People who get returns usually get them when the set comes out. I wasn't going to rush the returns during that window, so this card is actually blank. Uh, but when uh, I send it back to Tops, I'll come back with uh, when the set comes out and I will draw it out and it will be one new bar. So I'm going to show you the cards I did draw for this set and bear with me because there are a lot. All right. So, there are a lot of shaped cards in the set. What I mean by shaped cards is these cards are shaped like trash cans. Here's an example of one of these shaped cards, and I'm going to show you all the shaped cards I did for these sets. So, shaped cards, uh, we're going through these by subset. Shaped card number one is shaped like a trash can. So, here we go. Sick Sid. This is a Sid Haig card. Uh, whoa, from the Devil's Rejects. I'm apparently having problems grasping it. There we go. Uh, I kind of like doing this design where, like, the head's popping out through, like, a booger splatter or slime if you grew up watching Nickelodeon in the 80s. And I just do the garbage can details on the side. So, there's that. Next card. Batman. Um, originally, this is a play off of another card called Haunting Hollis, and Batman is actually supposed to be upside down like this, looking at you. But I drew him right side up because I kind of thought he was cute. I did some cool, fun line work on him. Oh, I'll actually zoom in like this on some of them. Yeah, he came out fun. Let's see. Next one. JDK. Or, um... Yeah, JDK is his name. Um, he's kind of a zombie. He's a pizza delivery zombie. He's kind of fun. Um, I did the thing on his hat with a white gel pen to kind of fade it out. And I liked how that looked. This one is Tar Manny, based on Tar Man from uh, Return of the Living Dead, one of my favorite movies. Uh, 
Elvira. I like how that one came out. Got some nice like character interface, I think. And this one is Grim Jim. He's like the Grim Reaper. Uh, do a little line work on him. Uh, not this is based on like a specific artist sketch. Um, not my favorite, but I think he looks pretty cool. So that is all of the garbage can shaped ones. Now I have some more shaped ones. These are shipped shaped like shit emojis. Let me just say, not my favorite shape, but I think I did a kind of great job on these. All right, so, Beetlejuice. We have uh, beetles coming out of his mouth. There's part of the sign, the Beetlejuice sign, and there's a Zagnut bar right there. Good character in his eyes, make him look like he's still coming out of that booger splat by using the middle of a, like a pound of shit. So, yeah, I still think that looks pretty badass. All right. My pet monster. Chewing on some shit, in the middle of some shit. He's super cute. Like how he came out. This is... Flyboy, or yeah, Flyboy from Dawn of the Dead. Uh, if you've never seen that movie, he's a zombie. He used to be a pilot. Thus, his name is Flyboy. I think he came out really good. I like how his eyes came out. Here is another one. This is just, his name, I think his name is Walking Ted. He's kind of like a generic tops zombie. Um, I think he came out really good. You notice they put like little pieces of shit in the shit, cause he's a shit. I like the coloring. I like that one uh, maggot coming out of his face. Pretty happy with that. Speaking of zombies, here's uh, JDK different version got some chunks of corn in there i really like how i did the lining on his face it really popped and that looks badass i think got an eyeball in there did a lot of shit zombies here uh next one this one's called misty bus kind of a girl zombie looks kind of cool looks kind of like a coloring book you know, I kind of kept it simple, and I think it pops that way. Good lighting on here, too. Here's Guy Fieri. You notice know, instead of coming out of a pile of boogers, he is coming out of a pile of nacho cheese. Um, got nacho cheese all over that shit, because that's totally... Uh, Triple D kind of thing. I think his face came out awesome. And the last shit emoji. Piece of shit on a piece of shit. You're gonna be like, politics, Victor. Hey, man, I'm just saying, I drew a piece of shit on a piece of shit. There you go, take that however you will. I think this trumps all the other cards. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I think that came out really good, actually. I, I do a lot of Trump sketches, so I kind of got his face down at this point. Um, so the next thing is panos. And basically they're called panos because they're two cards put together. They are a panorama. And I drew three of these. All right, first one is another JDK. Some nice detail work on his face there. Basically extended the regular card out. I like how the GPK looks tagged. Used a white gel pen on a lot of this. Makes the tree and the moon pop, I think. Some streaks of black on black. Kind of makes him look a little EC comics, comic booky. I think that one's fun. Got some grass popping out of the grave. 
That one's a nice piece. So here is another Tarmani. Tarman. Um, if you've seen Return of the Living Dead, you should recognize this backdrop. It's the Unita Medical uh, Supply Building. There's the tar barrels he popped out of. I did a lot of nice color grade and color shading on this. I like the hand. There's some character in there. I like his eyes and his tongue. I really like how the barrel and crates came out. I don't know. That's just me. I've been doing this uh, black outlining on the borders. That's kind of like my thing now. That's kind of awesome. And my last pano. Creep show. I really like how I did the lighting on his face. That really pops. Her lighting pops. I did the background like the movie with the kind of comic book thing. I'm sure anybody who gets any of these could be turn around and sell them and make a fuckload of money. Just saying. All right, so then there's the triple foldouts. One, two, three. This is three cards in one. I flew through a lot of these. These took me the longest time, so. Um, I just kind of did a theme here. I think these came out awesome, but all right. So, first off, I did a fighting game thing on all of these. The theme is fighting games. This is Ugly. He is a sumo guy. And we've got the Karate Kid over here with his foot in his mouth. And then all of these have the banner in the middle, so I decided to make an arcade cabinet. And this guy's an actual garbage pill kid. His name is 8Biff. So I just drew him his card in the middle of the arcade cabinet. And getting the proportions right on this arcade cabinet was a pain and a half. But I think it came out freaking awesome. Look at that. That is rad. So I said these were on a theme. Next one. Pete Fighter. He drew the exact same cabinet. Getting this to look exactly the same was, was very hard, so I just kept changing the Tetris barf patterns. Um... Yeah, this is based on a card called Pete Fighter, so it has Dalsum kicking Ryu in the face. I just changed the uh, background to be kind of like explosion. I like how uh, Ryu's all looking all fucked up. Usually Ryu's the guy I main on Street Fighter, but I'm also really good with Dalsum, so this, kind of, this card really spoke to me. Because uh, I like both these guys, and I'm actually really good with both of them. Um, and just, yeah, the arcade cabinet thing. It's got the one, two player buttons, six buttons for Street Fighter. Yeah. He's punching, th he's kicking through the arcade machine and coins are flying out. So I think that's super awesome. And this is the last one of these. Uh, so this one is themed on Mortal Kombat X because in that game... It has Goro, and you can fight Jason in it. So I was like, well, there's cards of both of these, so I'm going to do Goro versus Jason. And I think this Goro looks fucking awesome. I really like how uh, Jason came out here. Notice I gave them both severed heads. I hid my initials in his glasses, so there's a VM there. So, And then there's Kano. Johnny Cage and Kano, and then there's a random dead camper girl with Jason. So, Goro, Jason, let's see if I can just get a nice shot of all these. Goro and Jason. Pete Fighter. Tournament. 
you got like how ugly he came out. We're not even through half of this video, so 15 minutes long. So, all right, so then there's these puzzle cards. These are basically four cards put together into a one big puzzle. Um, they'll be in little packs for people who buy certain boxes. Will not be put together. This is just a tape I put to make sure they see together while I draw them. Card number one, Kurt Cobain. I think he looks awesome. I kind of went for some oddball picks in these, so. J. Decay. Um, I think his eyeball looks fucking awesome. I just did them kind of popping out and did some nice coloring on them. Kind of a shout out to my Basil Gogo -Go set from last time. Just, I could have done different things with them, but I kind of just thought this was cool. I always do these last, and I have crazy ideas for all of them, and then I just kind of go a different way. Spawn was almost on one of these, and I remembered I did him on the last set. Um, this crazy demon guy, whose name I can't remember, I think he looks sick as fuck. Dude, this, my gosh, I mean, like, and I did these, like, relatively quick. I didn't spend more than an hour on any one of these, and, uh... I just think that looks awesome. I like the hair, how it pops against the sludge and the boogers and the eyes. Like, I would not be unhappy to get this in a set. Beetlejuice. Um, I might have shown the Beetlejuice on the shaped shit card. But, uh, this is kind of the same concept. Some orange juice coming out of his head. Beetles. The hair, I think, is really cool here. It kind of looks a little Coheed and Cambridge, but... I dig it. I think that's pretty dope. I'm going kind of slow because I'm just showing them all off. Uh, another sick Sid. Uh, I like drawing Sid Haig, and he's become really popular as a Garbage Pail Kid. Every time I draw him on my eBay auctions, he always sells for a good chunk of money. So I imagine whoever gets this will be happy with it. And, uh, you know, what I like about this set specifically is I spent some good time on it. So, like, it's that GPK style, but it all it looks like I drew it. It's not just, like, me aping the people who drew these originally. Like, the it looks recognizably like something I would draw. And this is the variant of all my puzzles. It's Jason, or Friday, whatever they call him. And uh, it's the way I draw his mask now, all battered up. Um, but I did a puddle of blood instead of a puddle of boogers. I just thought that kind of suited better. And I think he looks pretty sick. I dig the texture and detailing on the mask and the blood. He's pretty popping. All right, so now we're gonna go through the individual cards. This should be fun. Um, this is like 46 cards. These are called regular cards, so let's just start and see where we go. All right. Card number one, his name is Brody Snatcher. He is a play on Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but he's also the Cabbage Patch Kids logo because Garbage Pail Kids are a copy of... Cabbage Patch Kids, so it works on multiple levels. I did this kind of like uh, action line thing on a ton of these cards, and you're gonna see that a lot. Atom Bomb, this is my only Atom Bomb I did this set. Um, I'm sure he'll 
if somebody finds him, he'll probably go for stupid money, because they always do. Um, I think he looks cool. I like the action lines. I like the color on his face. Good explosion. Um, yeah, he looks pretty cool. I dig him. You know. <sighs> he's like the, po he's the uh, Ryu, if this was Street Fighter. Patrick Bateman. I actually think this looks a lot like um, Christian Bale. And this is right when he kills uh, Jared Leto. I considered outlining the blood how I do on other cards, but I think it just captures the moment. It looks pretty cool, I think. Another ugly. Um, I like the one I did on the on the triple fold out better, but he still looks cool. Looks kind of Mauish in a way. Um, probably used too much gel pen on it, but I'm my own worst critic. I think it looks cool though. I mean, I'm doing the ones I did at the end, working of the ones I did at the start, so they'll probably get progressively uh, more details as it goes along. Uh, here's Kelly Maroney's character from Night of the Comet. Night of the Comet. I like how her hair came out. There's a comet. You can tell what, what, if you've seen the movie, you can tell what I was going for with her sweater. So, kind of fun. These are the ones I did, like, towards the end, so. Now's where we're going to start seeing a little bit more detail. Sloth from the Goonies. He looks really good. Nice clean color. I like him a lot. He looks very cool. I like the GPK. Just kind of a fun, fun one. <clears throat> Another six Sid. Here he's got the bucket of chicken. I like his beard. Pretty fun. Uh, Motel Hell. This is Motel Hell. If you've seen this movie, it's about butchering a place called Motel Hello. Guy in a pig mask with a chainsaw. Very cute. I like the flannel. They could probably do a better job on his face again in the future. That's one I'll probably revisit. Again, I might Greg. Uh, 2017 Pennywise. I think he looks really good. This is probably, I'm just drawing him in my own style now, um, cause I'm not happy with any of the quote unquote official versions. Um, he looks super cute. Um, every time I draw him, I draw him a little bit different. I think I'm starting to get to where I'm totally happy with him, but Almost, but not quite there yet. But this card looks really good, I think. 1990 Pennywise. I think this one's dead on. I have pretty much got him, like... And, you know, I used to struggle with this character, and now I'm like... Yeah, I can draw him in my sleep. I think he looks awesome. The hair looks really cool, I think. <clears throat> The thing, um, I think I, I can draw this card better. Um, it looks really cool, but I'm very picky about this because I've drawn it before and I've liked it more, but I do like his face. Um, yeah, um, it's cool though. I dig it. I am being harsh on some of these. Some of these, I'm just like, I, it's because I like the characters and I'm like, I can, I can do that better. Here's Shrink the Bunny. Um, I really like how the fire came out with the action lines. I like the shading on his face. I think he looks very good. This is a good card. <clears throat> Guy Fieri. Um, I really like the shit emoji Guy Fieri I did, but this one is also really good. Um, yeah, I've got him down. That looks awesome. I... Looks like a disgusting burger concoction he would eat. I like his face. Um, 
I got those in Dom Soul Patch and the hair. It's all good. This is a cool card. Another Flyboy. I think this one came out really good too. Like the action line. I like how the blood on him came out. He's very cool. Uh, Michael Myers. Um, I've drawn him better. Um, I think I just should have done like a purple background behind him and the moon. Yeah, I kind of think the bright action lines take away from it a little bit, but he looks cool. I'm, I'm a little... You know, I've drawn him awesome and sometimes I've drawn him in the middle. Killer Clown from Outer Space. I really like how this came out. Uh, I'll draw this guy again and he'll come out better. But I really like his face and the hand specifically. I think that's super cool. Mummy. I really like how this came out. Uh, the bandages came out awesome. I've drawn this guy so many times. I drew him twice in the last set and uh, the last of the horrible. And uh, this is better than both of those. Yeah, I just really like how this came out. Papa. Papa Emeritus from Ghost. He looks fucking great. This is one of my favorite cards I drew for this set. Just really good. So cool. Walking Ted Zombie. Looks good. I like the one I did on the shit emoji better, but he looks really cool. I like all the white stuff on his face, like he's moldy. Very cool. Uh, creature. Looks great. One of my favorite cards I drew. Um, lightning effect. Um, I did this on a lot of cards, this kind of lightning with the action lines. Um, I could have done the dripping on his chin a little better, but the actual face and expression looks great, I think. This is Nasty Nick. Again, did the, the classic monsters all kind of got this lightning thing going on. I dig it. He looks good. I like his claw hand. Bath Death, I like the face on this, like the colors, like the background, very happy with this one. Village of the Damned Girl. Village of the Damned Boy. they go together. Frankenstein's monster. Looks really cool. Like the dynamic lighting. Bride of Frankenstein's monster. Looks cool with the lighting. These are meant to go together too. I think they look really good together. Boom. Executioner looks good. I like his dead eyes. Like, yep, this is what I do. Halfway through. This is a long video. <laughs> Chucky. I really like his face. He looks like a doll. I like his teeth. This came out really good. Leatherface, kind of a TCM2 Leatherface, looks good, um, I did some 
cross hatching on there for some texture on the background. Yeah, looks good. Uh, I'm still not 100% happy with any leather face I've done. I think he's a guy that eventually I'll nail. He's just not there yet. Jason, um, I like this Jason. He's kind of simple, but sometimes that works. And I like the lighting on his mask. He came out good. They live alien, covered in gum. This is a smaller part of another sketch card. I just blew it up into an actual sketch card. And here's the actual card, just shrunken down. He's supposed to be like this. And there's Roddy Piper. Instead of obey, it says bye. I like how the flannel came out. This is one of my favorite cards to set. I think that's when I knew I was on a groove. I was like, these, these guys look good. And these go together. Another JDK. This one's kind of like drunk. He looks cute. Um, this is before I got into the action line kind of thing, but he looks cool. I dig him. A little simpler. I think he's the most represented character I did in this set. Heath Ledger Joker. Very bright, very pastel. Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Also cute. I think her name is Donna of the Dead. I like how she came out. Did a good job on her. This guy is Zeke Freak. He looks good, a little simple, but sometimes the simple ones pop. Marshmallow Man, he came out really good. I'm really happy with him. Um, this is the second time I drew him. He came out badass the first time, came out badass this time. Um, yeah, dig it. Another JDK. This is like the third card I drew. He came out good. He's very representative in this set. I think I was feeling zombies a lot. Um, this guy is New Wave Dave. He's just a zombie. He looks good. I meant to actually put him more in the set and it just didn't happen. But he's on there. Uh, different Beetlejuice. I like the other version I did better, but he's represented. He's good, I just don't like the, this this uh, lay, layout design. I'm not super happy with it, but that's not my fault. I'm, you know, kind of, the, the source material was not my favorite, but that looks pretty good. This one's fun. He's like a 3D TV. The puke looks good. This is one of the early cards. Another early card. He's like ripping the band-aid off. Pretty detailed. You can see how the set kind of evolved as it went along. And that one's just floaty. I like how the flannel came out. I did a good job on that. A 
like that card. Looks very good. Nice uh, job on the boob, sh boob, the cleavage shadows. I should have made this arm more realistic, but I matched the original drawing, and now I kind of regret it. Live and learn. And this was the very first card I drew in the set. Second time I've drawn him, he's always fun. Um, even though I, I like to give myself criticism, I'm very happy with how all these cards came out. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with everything. They are a fun ton of cards. So yeah, there's those guys. These guys. These guys. These guys. Don't forget these guys. And uh, these guys. So yeah, quite the set. Super fun. Uh, we'll be mailing those off to Tops in the morning. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at everything. I know it was a lot of fun making these. A lot of work, but I think this is probably one of my best sets ever. And I hope you guys enjoy all the hard work that goes into your hobby. If I kept all these cards, I could easily retire. <laughs> Alas, not to be. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, if you like videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. There's lots of art on here. Just hit subscribe and then they hit the bell icon so you're notified when there's new videos up. If uh, you enjoy the kind of work I do on here, please feel free to so, give us a tip, Venmo or Cash App. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all these places at these few Instagram accounts. I post lots of art there. And then finally, Patreon, support an independent artist. For as low as $5, you can see videos like these months before they'll be live on my YouTube channel. This will be live probably tomorrow for, for my Patreons and people who weren't on Patreon will get to see it till September or October. So thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. This video is almost an hour long. I appreciate you guys watching it. And once again, thank you for the support. Hope you like the art. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. Bye.